Hello friends, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BSP self-running video broadcast solution. I am a certified Salesforce developer and since long time I am sharing my learning and experience on Salesforce with all of you through my videos and I believe that my videos are helping you in enhancing your knowledge in Salesforce. In my previous video I have explained how to use a wrapper class in Visual Force with an example. So this is the second video in continuation of that. In today's tutorial I will be going to tell you how to send an email directly from a Visual Force page using a wrapper class. So first of all let's understand what is a wrapper class once again. So basically wrapper class is a class whose instance are collection of other objects and it is used to display different objects on a Visual Force page in the same table. So I would we have different objects we have custom objects and I would like to display the records in a single Visual Force page from multiple custom objects so that we can achieve using a wrapper class. So the most obvious use of wrapper class in Salesforce is by using this we will be going to display a table of records with a checkbox and a user will be going to select that checkbox and there will be a button and we can perform some action and when the user performs some action so that action will be performed only on the selected records. So by using the same scenario I have created one more example. So in this example I have created an object in Salesforce or in an application for collecting the candidate records and now I have to send some information through all of them or to few of them through emails. So first of all I have displayed all the candidate names and their emails on a Visual Force page in a list format along with a checkbox. And now user can select one user as well or user can select all of them or multiple users or multiple candidate and then click on this send email button and when user clicked on this send email button an email will be sent to all of them on their email IDs. So in this case either you can customize your email, customize the email message or you can use a standard email message to, uh, which we can send to all of them. So in this example I have used a standard email message or just a dummy email message to explain you the scenario to explain this concept. So let's switch to Salesforce and see how to perform this. So let me switch to Salesforce. So you can see it's a, I have already logged in into Salesforce and I have already created one Apex page, blank Apex Visual Force page as a name is send email and now we'll be create a, we'll be going to customize the code and we'll be going to display all the candidate records. You can see here if I click on candidate, we have candidate records with their along with email IDs and first name and uh, in the Visual Force page it will display the first name and their email IDs. So let's see how to perform this, uh, how to write a code. So what code will be going to write over here is, so first of all I would like to display the records from this candidate onto this Visual Force page. So I'm going to create one epic colon page and uh, use a standard controller. So let me increase the font size. Use a standard controller and candidate underscore underscore C. And I'm going to use one extension over here. To know more about extension, please visit my or go through my existing videos on extension wrapper because class is already created that's why and slash fx colon now I'm going to create a form so I create a form over here in this use to display the message after doing some action after performing the action so I create one apex page messages section so that we can display multiple messages then apex colon 
page block. In this page block, I'm going to create one a text column page block table to display the values to display the data from the candidate. Value is equal to and uh, wrapper obj obj and where is equal to x fx colon column and uh, value is equal to display the value so because we are going to use wrapper class so x dot con obj this is a wrapper class object dot first underscore name underscore underscore that's the name of the field or the API name of the field so you would like to display the first name and email id so email underscore id underscore underscore and we need to create one checkbox as well so after this fx colon input checkbox and its value is equal to x dot checkbox so after this page block table we need a button so I add fx colon page block section and in this section we will be going to use one we will add one button so fx colon command button value is equal to send email and action is equal to so it's a custom action so we'll be going to over customize this action in fx class send so that's the visual force code uh, now we'll be going to save it and uh, create one create the fx code so that's the fx code you can see here in this fx code this is the extension class which we have mentioned over here wrapper on candidate one two three four so that's the then we have created one wrapper class list over here then in this we have extracted the object uh, the records from the candidate and stored in the list then we have created one wrapper class over here and in this we have stored the object in the candidate object so basically now the extension of this object is uh, this count of obj is an extension of this candidate and in this we have stored the values which have which have we have extracted in the list and after that there is a send email function and in this send email function we have sent the emails to all the selected emails or selected records over here and I have created one dummy message over here so it's reply to my registered mail ID this is a text body and the BISP solution that the display name and the subject is this is a testing email you, hello or we can say the subject let's say change the subject testing email and hello this is a testing let's say this is a this is testing email and save it so let's check it's working or not so as you can see here we have got a list of records from the candidate object along with their name, first name, email IDs and check boxes. So I'm going to check my name. I'm going to check this email ID because I have authorization to access this mail ID. I can check the testing mail on this email ID. So I select this one and click on send. And once I click on send and if I'll go and check my check uh, email box, you can see the mail has been, I have received an email with a message. This is a testing email and subject is testing email mailed by this and uh, you can see the reply to which we have mentioned in the fx class so like this we like this week way we can create a visual force page by using a wrapper class to send emails to the selected list of records so that's all in this video if you have any 
issues if you have any questions and queries you can write to us you can send email to us or you can visit our website www.bisptrainingspot.com or you can subscribe our youtube channels for more learnings on salesforce i will be continuing sharing my learning and on salesforce with all of you thanks and have a nice day ahead goodbye